Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tom TV here back at again for another YouTube video. And today we're gonna be doing an unboxing video for a couple items. If you guys didn't know, GameStop came out recently with a couple new Silent Hill 2 merchandise. Two of the items I got were the LED Silent Hill 2 sign, and I also got the controller holder. It's a universal controller holder, so you can use it for both PlayStation and Xbox and other controllers that you may have lying around. But for this uh, case, I got it for the PlayStation controller. I did not pre-order or buy the PC controller, although it does look really cool. It has a removable case or shell on top that you can see on the inside that makes it look bloody which i thought was a really cool detail and also it had the silent hill i believe three save symbol on it i think you also see it in silent hill uh four and uh, the room and homecoming if i'm not mistaken but maybe that's like a little detail that they added in there i know they were doing a lot of uh paying tribute to the original games so in, inside the silent hill 2 remake itself uh yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get started and then after I show you these two items that I have, I'm going to show you my new stand. I'm going to film it on my iPhone because I don't have any other device to film it on. But yeah, I have a record player now and I also opened up my records and I'll show you the artwork inside because I thought those were really cool details that I wasn't expecting. So first up, we're going to show you the LED sign. The only, the only complaint I have about this is that it came uh, damaged. Not the sign itself, but the box did. Uh, I don't know what happened, but it might have been pre-shipment damage, it looks like, because there's no way this thing would have got damaged like this inside of a box that has no damage on the exterior. So, But anyways, this is the sign right here. As you can see, it's pretty cool. It has the original Silent Hill 2 logo with the webs on it i think that's what the design was but and it has a blood splatter on the bottom and i'm gonna unbox this to show you guys i'm not gonna light the led on the back side it had the try me button and you can actually use it to to shine it to start it up to, to see what it looks like um it says that it's called or so the the name of it is silent hill 2 logo light it has a silent hill 2 it says try me um on the right hand side it says uh portable light so you can use it without plugging it in uh it does have a usb-c cable included so you can plug it in and have it charged charged up because it's a rechargeable battery so you just have to charge it up every time it dies um each battery lasts between 6 and 12 hours but yeah so this right here is the damage i'm talking about you see that that's crazy well we'll go ahead and get started in unboxing this thing and then i'm going to show you guys it lit up on my uh record player stand after we do all the unboxings oh crap this thing is taped up i didn't even see that so we're gonna go ahead and um, put this bad boy open all right comes with a little instructions manual as you can see right here a little instructions manual and talks about all right different languages um it says built-in LED logo light, tells you how the battery life, recharge time, three hour recharge time, and then it tells you how to recharge it, instructions, blah, 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 and how to clean it. I don't really deal with that kind of stuff. But, all right, that's pretty much it. So this is the sign itself. Look at that. This town called you. That's pretty cool. I like that. And it has like the fog effect on it too. So there you go. There's the sign. It has a little bit of blood spatter. And on the back side, here's the side view. There's really not much to see on the side. And on the back view, you have a couple screws for where you can access the panel for the electrical part of it. And then you have the um, the USB-C charger. And over here, you have the press button to start it up. And this is the bottom side right here. Because you see GeekNet, it's hell too. And it has a whole bunch of, it's like the battery information, model number and all that stuff. Yep, there we go. This is the Silent Hill 2 uh, LED side. It's pretty sweet. It's about, I think it's eight inches in length. So um, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nice size for, for a sign. And I did light it up and test it out. It does look really freaking good. So I'm going to show you guys this uh, on the stand when it's done. Hopefully my iPhone can capture a little better than these cameras because it's very blurry. You won't be able to make anything out. All right. So the next thing is going to be the Silent Hill. Welcome to Silent Hill Universal Controller Holder. And this is the box it comes in. This is a nice box. And this one didn't come damaged at all. So, um, this is the back to the other side. This is the top. So as you can see, welcome to Silent Hill Universal Holder. And then this is the bottom. So I'll go ahead and unbox this one. I like this box a lot. I don't know why. It just looks really neat. neat. Try and be careful as I open this thing up. Not try to damage it. Okay, right there. Ooh, look at this bad boy. Oh yeah. This looks good. I gotta find room on my sh my uh, desk to put this. Okay, so this one does have some tape. Okay, we're just gonna um, take it off on one side. Wow, this is really nice. Wow, cool. All right, so this is it right here, guys. The Silent Hill 2 controller holder. And you're probably wondering, you know, Totem, how do they hold the controller, right? Why, it doesn't look like a controller holder. But as you look at the back on the side view, that's how it holds the controller. But this is like the wooden pieces that hold up the sign. 
I think this is really cool because it kind of reminds me of like the wooden plank you get at the beginning of the game. And so there's a bottom side. As you, as you can see, there's a little bit of texture down here that shows like the, the beat up concrete. And then on the front side, you have a little tire right here. And then you have like a little um, sewage drain um, piece right there. And then you have the sign, really nice. Uh, it's, it's like dark green. It's painted very nicely. It has green strokes and on it. And then you have like the little lights. At first, I thought that was gonna be like a light up. And I'm sure that people will be able to do DIY where they can actually put their own little like LEDs to make this these little lights light up. I'm sure it's doable. I might even do it. Um, but yeah, so this is the universal controller holder. I think that's really neat. And then I'll take my controller here. Let me unplug it because it's. So this is it, this is the controller, and then you place it right here. Yeah, so that's the controller holder right there, pretty neat. All right, so we're gonna set that off to the side, right up over here. You guys can see that, yeah, that's the record player. So, but before we get into revealing the record player setup and everything like that, I wanted to show you guys the records themselves. And I opened up the record, so hopefully they don't slide out on me when I'm showing you this, but I'm gonna show you first the Silent Hill 2 uh, original video game soundtrack vinyl that I got from the Konami shop. So this is what it looks like right here. And so it has the kind of like the front with James Sunderland and you you see uh, Maria's face in the background with the fog and it gives you that ambiance of the, all the fog that's in the game. So it looks really nice. And then on the back side right here, we have the nurse and it's the bullhead nurse. So um, music by Konami Digital Entertainment. And then you have all the soundtrack names for side A and B. And this comes with two vinyls. So you have uh, A and B on one vinyl and then you have uh, C and D on the other uh, vinyl as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up now. This part is what surprised me. I wasn't expecting uh, artwork on the inside, but right here you get the iconic pyramid head walking, doing his little walk with his uh, great knife. And I thought that was a really cool addition and artwork to this vinyl record. Very cool. And then on one side, uh, you have each of the discs. So over here and uh, next, I'm gonna show you the disc itself, which I thought was pretty neat. So each of these vinyls come inside of a protective sleeve. You don't wanna scratch these things. It's my first time collecting vinyl, so I'm not sure how delicate you have to be with these things, but like, I'm gonna treat these as if they're like a PlayStation disc. Maybe I shouldn't because I don't think you can really uh, fix anything that's scratched on the vinyl. So, um, <laughs> but as you can see right here, here is the vinyl itself and it has that rusted uh, effect to it that gives it that Silent Hill feeling. Really, really, really freaking cool. I believe it's a 12 inch disc. I'm not sure how big the diameter of vinyls are, but on the vinyl itself, it even gives you, gives you the speed that it should be played at, which is 33 and one third RPM. It gives you side A and B and it tells you what songs are on each of the sides. So you have some songs on A and some on B. And so you just, the, all, the A and B is just, you flip it. So on this disc is right here, but the cool, the cool disc that I want to show you is on the other, other one. So let me go ahead and pull that. So as you can see right here, this disc has the same front um, picture on it and it gives you side C and D with also the speed that it should be played at. And on the back side is where I want to get to because I thought this was really cool. So they added the, um, there was a hole here, it's gone now. Yeah, so this is exactly taken from the remake where it shows you that inside the Neely's bar or bar Neely's window sill. So I thought that was a really cool detail. And then finally, I'm gonna show you my next, my other record that I bought from the Konami shop. This is from the Silent Hill 1 soundtrack. So a lot of you guys are not familiar with Silent Hill 1 if you're new to the franchise, but hopefully with this remake, they're gonna remake Silent Hill 3. That's what I've heard. Silent Hill 3 is a rumor and possibly 4, but I would also love to see Silent Hill 1 as one of the next ones, if not the next one that needs to be remade just because it's the first in the franchise and it's what brought Silent Hill to Silent Hill basically into the world as we know it. So, um, but right here, if you guys don't know, I'm gonna explain it to the people that don't know Silent Hill 1. So this right here is a picture of Harry Mason, who's the main protagonist in Silent Hill 1 that you play as, trying to find your daughter, Cheryl Mason. And so you ride in a Jeep in the very beginning of the game. It starts up with you riding in the Jeep with your daughter in the passenger seat, and then you get a car accident and you crash into um, the onto a road in Silent Hill. And so this shows it inside some snow, it looks like, because in the original, people have mistaken the snow for ash but it was snow uh so this is a picture of that jeep inside the snow so this is the front side of it on the back it's pretty it's pretty uh plain 
it shows you a little bit of a camera effect to it and it gives you the footsteps of Harry Mason walking through the snow inside the town. And then you can see right here you have side A, B, C, and D and it gives you all the soundtracks from the original Silent Hill 1 game. I got this vinyl because it's nostalgic and all the music and sounds that I heard in the original when I played it as a kid are in this and also when I played it later on uh, when I actually beat it. So there's the front right here and on the inside right here is the Incubus. Okay, so this one's a little graphic, right? So I gotta, I gotta probably block out some of this so I don't get flagged on YouTube. This is the Incubus, and it's the, I think it's the final boss you fight, or not one of the final bosses that you fight in Silent Hill One. So this is a really cool snapshot of, and it shows you the wings, uh, it's like angel wings or something. No idea. It's pretty sinister. The the original Silent Hill One game was very sinister like, so yeah, there's a lot of dark themes going on in this game. Um, but yeah, so that's Silent Hill 1 vinyl. I'll show you the actual vinyls themselves. And again, these ones are these ones are a little bit darker than the Silent Hill 2. They're not as rusty. I guess they're rusty, but they're a little bit darker. This one gives you the Silent Hill insignia. Whee! There we go. I can never like hold it properly. Boom. So this is the disc itself. I, I love the artwork put on these these vinyls. I'm not sure if this is a main theme that they have with all vinyls, but I'm really digging the flavor and the look of it. It just looks so freaking good. So that's the uh that's one of the discs for Silent Hill um one. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to drop it in. And then I think the second disc is the same. No, I was wrong. It's not the same. Okay. Uh this one actually so the first one was like a dark, but basically a dark, dark theme with the centerpiece, center design. And this one has a lighter piece. So this one, yeah, lighter side, this side C and D. And the, the disc itself actually looks like, it looks so good. Like, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I think just the artistry with vinyls themselves. Just, I think that's what UI people look like. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of songs on the record player.
But yeah, guys, so I really appreciate uh, your time, and I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and then seeing my little showcase with my vinyl record and my display wall with all my Silent Hills 2 stuff. But I, I don't know. I, I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff, and with the vinyl record and the vinyl player and all that, I thought that was fitting for Silent Hill, especially Silent Hill 2. I really did enjoy making that uh, wall. Uh, it's definitely pays tribute to one of my favorite games and or my favorite franchises in, in the history of gaming. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys the next one. Peace.